Hello everyone and welcome to Imani's Lightwork YouTube channel. For those of you who are new subscribers, welcome. It's great to have you here. For those of you who have been here since the beginning of time, I truly appreciate your continuous love and support. Okay, so before I begin with what case I'm going to be covering today, I just want to um, pretty much lay down the ground rules about this section of my channel. Um, all cases and readings covered here are solely based on channeling and interpretation. That goes for my general readings as well, too and also um, uh, just to understand that a little bit better um, I use my ability and the aid of spirit to get the cases done okay so if you have questions comments or concerns if you have inquiries about this section of my channel you can always send me a direct message on my Instagram at Amani Ife triple seven or you can send me an email to I F A D I V I N A T I O N seven 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 at gmail.com that's Ifa divination triple seven at gmail.com Okay, so um, I'm sure a lot of people got to this case um, uh, for Naya Rivera. Okay, she was born January 12, 1987. She was 33 years old. Okay, and the claim was that she passed July 8th, 2020, um, or at least was presumed um, deceased uh, July 8th, 2020. Okay, uh, the story is that she was found. Um, floating above water she had went out to Lake Peru in California with her son her son was left on the boat by himself etc so the story sounds a little eerie to me um, personally as a medium as a spiritualist etc um, it seems like there's a little bit of um, the spirit is telling me already something about conspiracy as I'm going along these examples I myself I don't I'm not a conspiracy theorist I'm not really into that you know entity in terms of conspiracy but um if the spirit is saying it some area you know some element along those lines um intertwined with her case maybe bringing up that idea some people may be conspire you know some people may be along that line of you know really delving into the conspiracy aspect of her case etc okay so uh she was a capricorn I'm just going to name out the signs that were that may have been around her or at least leading up to how she was found or the circumstances, the events, uh, the occurrences, etc. OK, um, her ex-husband, I believe, Ryan, he was a cancer. OK, Ryan Dorsey is a cancer. I believe she was with Big Sean as well. They did say that he's been in news talking about um, his connections that he's had with her. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, within the past couple of months or years uh, whatever the case may be he's an Aries element so if I'm doing the reading and you see the Emperor if you see a King of Cups energy show up here Cups energy Wands energy um, would be mainly connected to either one of them okay all right so let's uh, begin with her case and see what's going on You know, I keep getting this idea. I previous, you know, what's funny is that I actually covered this before, but I wasn't really satisfied with what I was getting. But um, I was getting this idea of smoke. So I don't know if she was a smoker. I don't know if somebody, um, I'm getting the idea again of camp. Um, I believe around the river there is a campground some distance away look like you know where people can go and they can eat and they can grill they can camp they can get tents and do all that you know that kind of nature-esque kind of um, uh, you know nature-esque kind of uh, what do you call those things uh, events and um, partake in those you know those kind of things but I was getting that idea of camping and smoking so camping and smoking pretty much goes hand in hand if you're dealing with camp the idea of a campfire um, she I don't know she was a smoker or somebody else was a smoker that may have been surrounding the river or they were lighting a fire just depends on what's going on okay
Okay, so the card that's underneath is the Four of Cups energy. Um, I'm getting something about calls. Cups and energies represent children. They do represent family. So if you see cups energy, it doesn't only have to be the energy of her ex-husband. Cups energy would also, yes, it could be him or family, etc. Somebody could have been calling her. Um, I'm getting this when I hit family, I get depressed about. So it could either be her immediate family, like her, her child, um, possibly the bond that, you know, before she broke up with her husband, before she split from her husband, um, that idea of family connected with her ex connected with her son that immediate little family that she created for herself she may have been depressed about or it could be her own family like between the relationship that she had maybe between her father her mother her brother um if she had any other siblings um i know her brother is a virgo his energy showed up in the other reading that i covered for her but um and she felt depressed about those things. Money may be a factor as well. Feeling depressed about money. That's why the Four of Cups energy is here. Um, I'm getting this idea of he kept asking. So the he could be... The he could be the Dorsey, the he could be the ex-husband, the he kept asking, the he kept asking for money. Um, I also get this idea of child support. She may have been asking him for child support. It could have been a back and forth battle between um, some type of child support like dispute between her and her ex-husband pertaining to her child, him needing money for school, him having, you know, her setting up an account for him to have money for school and things of that or just money period, things of that nature. Okay, so whatever he was asking for, there could have been, I keep getting this idea of custody, so he may have been trying, they may have been in the works of like a custody, like I said, a custody dispute, child support dispute, where he may have been, um, he may have been trying to take her to court to get custody of the son is the kind of feeling that I get and that could be where money is um, intertwined in the situation so if he tried to get custody if he was working towards getting custody of his son that could be where she's you know I'm she's like you know I want to take care of my child um, I don't want you I also get that woman so if he may he may have been tied to a new woman um, I was getting that kind of energy in the last reading I'll probably post that video as well too um, if he was dealing with a new partner that woman um that woman may have also needed money that woman may have or her ex-husband's new partner may have been tr drumming down his ear may have been drumming down his ear for money in the sense of him going through naya to get what he needed just depends on what's going on so all of that knowledge um all of that headache may have been weighing on her spirit within the day's uh, she was found or you know it could have been a couple of months prior leading up to so one thing about these cases is that I like to do them in chronological order um, based on the series of events that take place so I like to look at what happens in the beginning leading up to how she was found okay the starting point has the Ace of Swords energy. The Ace of Swords pretty much, um, I get packing. The Ace of Swords give me this idea of packing. If you can see what the Ace of Swords energy looks like, if you're if you're new to tarot, you just want to know what it's like. Um, this is the Ace of Swords. There is a snake here as well. Snakes to me uh, represent there could have been a snake in her midst. Um, there could have been a snake in her midst. A snake in her midst in a sense where someone from a distance and someone from a distance literally someone from a distance um it's tell she's telling me something about the husband's new partner so the husband her ex-husband's new partner something is snake like uh it's giving me this idea of a female something is snake like about a female that is tied to her husband currently her i'm not saying husband currently tied to her who, who would be her ex-husband so there's a female there it could be a water sign female it doesn't have to be a water sign female but i'm just getting this idea that the snake is the snake like entity is attached to um it's, it's attached to her ex-husband's new partner something could be snake like about him or this literally could be this literally the analogy could literally be um 
uh, uh, pointing to someone that may have been in her environment on that particular day. It just depends on what's going on. So I try to make sure that I go down various alleyways of interpretation with what I receive off of the card. Okay. So I do get the idea of her ex-husband. I do get this idea of her ex-husband's partner being, being involved with her finances is the energy that I get with the Ace of Swords energy there. Okay. And the, I, the first message that I was getting was packing. So packing can mean anything. Packing could be her packing her things to go to the river that uh, to go to the river that day. Her packing her things could be she could have been in preparation to move. That's why the Ace of Swords energy is there. Could be move move work, um, change jobs. What's another situation? Um, move houses. She could have been just packing. And someone could have been aware of her packing with funds. Someone was aware of her packing with funds. Like packing with funds, packing with funds could be two, two or three could have the uh, two or three different meanings attached to it. When people say packing, they say you know packing with funds, meaning okay, you in in the metaphorical sense, packing with funds. Uh, would be like you, somebody has a lot of funds, someone has a lot of financial stability and get, trying to get away with money. That could be what's associated to what she has going on. Or packing with funds could literally be packing with funds, packing with money. Um, I also get this idea of I'm getting this feeling, that's why as an ace, I get this idea that she may have had, she may have been, um, what's another situation? She may have been, um, liquidating her assets as well too trying to get them more accessible to her so if she went to the bank if she found out a way to get to the bank on that particular day or maybe days prior she may have been a, i get this idea of extracting large amounts of money so she could have been doing that the ex-husband could have been doing that or the the new woman to the ex-husband could have been asking him to do that something is interesting that is happening around there i do get this feeling that she may have been i'm, I'm getting this feeling of trying to give it to family so she could have been extracting money like a large amounts of money to give to her family members like her mother or um but it's a it's giving me this feeling that it may be what she tried to do there, if she tried to do something like that, it's a protective measure that she's saying that she's that she tried to do for her son. So she's trying to what she did that day or days prior or months prior prior is that she's trying to look she was trying to liquidate her access. So going to the bank, whatever bank she had or banks with an S that she had, I get this feeling of her going or traveling to those um going or traveling to those banks and taking large amounts of money out to leave with a family member like her brother her mother her father someone close because i do get this feeling the four of cups energy underneath is that she may have been aware what the ex-husband had planned or what the ex-husband was after in terms of her finances in terms of him trying to take custody of the son so i get this feeling of her trying to get as much money as she possibly can out of her account to leave with another family member so that that family member could then protect the money from the husband and his new partner. So something is, I also get strange when I ran through all of that. Something was strange. So if, if her mother or her father or her brother, whoever she may have been interacting with in terms of her birth family, they may have they may have been thinking that some type of move that she was making like that was strange you know but i'm getting this idea of moving in between accounts as well so she that could have been another option that she did want to that could have been another option that she did want to give herself so instead of physically taking out all the money or large amounts of money at one time she could have had a conversation with her father her brother um who else in her family that you know may, may have been a sense of refuge for her she could have had a conversation with them and saying, you know, can I just transfer this money into your account? Can we just link uh, accounts? I don't want, that's why I said from the beginning, He's. Tr she was like, he's trying to get to. She's like, I don't want him to get to these funds. Can I just transfer the money into your account so that he won't see the kind of move that I'm making here, So, which is really interesting. So it could have been, that could have been an interaction she had between her and her father, her mother, her brother, whatever sibling or aunt or uncle. I'm just giving examples of other family members that may have 
have been helping her through this time they thought it was strange they're like why do you why do you want to transfer money from your account to ours why do you want to transfer money period why do you want to move your account and from why do you want to do these things she may have been giving them limited limited detail into why she wanted to make that kind of move but she may not have been telling her family members hey you know my ex-husband is after this money my ex-husband is trying to start a new life with his new partner and but i get she has children like when i said his new partner or he could be trying to he could be trying to have a family or start a family with his new partner her ex-husband and that could be where she's like i want to protect my money i want to protect my money i want to protect the money that i have from my son hmm. because she's aware that he and, the, and his new partner is trying to get to that the four of wands energy is in the waiting position not leaving the house so the ace of swords like i was saying the packing up the stuff the going to the bank and taking out the money this that and the third the four of wands energy is leaving the house to go to the bank leaving the house to do this that and the third with the four of wands energy there um i get a security camera too the four of wands is giving me this idea of a security camera so she could have had she could have hooked up one um wherever she was living she could have hooked up one Where's the situation she could have fucked up one? Like outside the house, like by the front door, the back door, wherever she was living. She did have security cameras hooked up there. Um, that could have been something that her parent helped her with or somebody could have helped her with in her family. Um, this idea of a security camera. Um, she's, she's saying that she had to install one. So the four of ones is that she may have had to install a security camera uh, around the perimeters of her home, wherever she was living. Um, um, the you know the trips that she was taking etc but I get the feeling also of being aware that she was watched being aware that she was followed um, and every time I'm going on this example is bringing me back to the idea of the ex-husband so he himself either could have okay he himself either could have hooked up someone to watch her or follow her or he himself could have been doing that uh, but they didn't have time to so when I when the spirit cut me off right there <laughs> when I was about to say was that he himself could have been watching and following her on his own but the spirit cut me and said that he may not have had time to do that so I get this idea that he could have hooked up someone or assigned someone to go watch and follow her or whatever but I get something about like uh, when I'm going on this example now I get something about a best friend <clears throat> That could be his best friend, like a friend that the ex-husband has, like some type of best friend like energy. So it could um, it's giving me this idea. Um, the spirit is telling me a male and female is giving me this idea of a male and female best friend, a male and female partner. That's why I said earlier on, like the ex-husband's partner like the female that he has and then he also has this also a friend like um i get white there's also a friend that the ex-husband has that's white all right so it's like a, a like an external white male that following her an external white male that the husband or the ex-husband hooked up he was following her along with him by himself or along with um the ex-husband's like female partner that he has or they had a conversation the 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 ex-husband and his new female partner had a conversation about hooking up friend they had a conversation about hooking up his friend to go watch and follow her so Hence the reason for her putting the security cameras around the parameters of the home that she was in or wherever she was. She had to put cameras, she but they didn't get to check. So when I said that, she didn't get to check some type of security camera that she did have installed around her house somewhere. She didn't get to check those cameras yet. Or she could have this could be a situation here where she she could have she could have been going through some type of feeling where <clears throat> She could have been going through some type of feeling, you know, days prior, however long this was happening for. She was going through a feeling, um, I also get paranoid. She was going through some type of paranoid-like feeling, like days days leading up to her ending up in a situation with her son on the boat, whatever it is that's going on there. She was going through um, some series of uh, uh, paranoidal, uh, paranoid-like episodes with having security cameras hooked up around her home, but, but she knew something was happening too. So the four of wands is that she knew something was happening, and the knowing that something was happening was... I 
I get lurking. The knowing that something was happening was this is giving me this idea of someone lurking. It could be the ex boyfriend friend that's a male lurking. The ex boyfriend could have been lurking. It just depends on what's going on. The female could have been asked him to do it. The female that he's tied to asked him to do it. Asked him to do the lurking. Whatever it is, but but she she knows that she's sharing. She's possibly she's possibly ending up in a situation where she's voicing that to people or voicing that to other family members, and that could have been making voicing it could have been making her really paranoid, or somebody may have been thinking that she was paranoid because she's she's aware, but it's like she's sharing it with someone, and it's like they may not understand or they know she they, they may not have understood they may not have known what she was talking about so they in turn someone that she's close to her own friend she could have had her own friend do that or um a family member put sec security cameras around the parameters of her home but i didn't believe so when i said that too she's you know someone may not have been believing her it just depends on what's going on. Someone may not have been believing her. That's why I said someone was thinking that she was paranoid. But the paranoid feeling, the paranoid feeling, can be justified. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because somebody really was. Um, I get driving by also when I, the spirit is helping me. The driving by also. Someone could have been driving by her car, like driving by her home in a car. The driving is also a part of lurking. I mean, you don't only have to walk and watch somebody weirdly. You could drive by their home or drive by like parks and things that they frequent. Like driving, like someone was driving and watching her too. Hmm. It's crazy. The Ten of Pentacles is in the present here as well. So she's saying it's about money. So whatever was happening there, security cameras lurking, walking and driving by lurking. She's like, you know, it's about money. It's about child support. It's about custody. He wanted him. So when I said custody, she said he wanted him. Her ex-husband wanted her son. Hmm. Her ex-husband wanted the son. Want custody of the son. So hence the reason for him, he's, he's, what he's doing is, is that he's keeping a watchful eye because, um, I also get this idea of moving out of town. So somebody could have kept a really watchful eye on her like that because they may have been thinking that she was going to move out of town. I don't know if he, I don't know if the ex-husband was trying to move out of town with the new woman and his potential new family that has, that he's been creating, <laughs> whatever that's going on there. So this, that has to do with moving out of town. That's why I said Ace of Swords energy is packing, is packing. So what's going on here? <clears throat> I'm just going to retract for one second. What this feels like also is that she could have been trying to move out of town. Excuse me. She or him, whoever. Or move out of, or like temporarily, or like a, she could have been doing something where if she wasn't trying to make like a serious residential move, like with the Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, if she's not trying to make like a serious residential move, this is, this is packing, like, what's another situation? Packing really, Ace of Swords with packing heavily kind of sounds like she may have literally been contemplating moving, like making a big residential move. But usually when people want to consider making a residential move, they're they have an idea of where they want to go so if she's asking family you know can i stay i was give an example she's like she's asking a family member or a friend you know can i stay in the hamptons i don't know i'm just giving an example can i stay you know can i come see you in the hamptons for like i don't know i'm just giving an example of like maybe one or two or three weeks you know, like this is happening before. This is like something that's in her mind or this is something that she was doing months prior, weeks prior to her going to the river. But this is like, I know she they said that she did grow up close to that area or whatever, but tired of it. She grew up over there, but she's, she's saying that she was tired of that area. But I get this feeling uh, she may have wanted to make a serious residential move. So I'm just using the Hamptons as an example. The Hamptons is all the way on East Coast. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is that I'm just giving that example because I do get that she may have been contemplating making a serious residential move. Out. It could have been out of uh I also get a name. Um, it's telling me about this part of California called Fresno. I don't know if that's where I'm getting it like Fresno. So I know that's a part of California. I don't know if that's where she was. I don't know if that's where she was living. I don't know if that's where she wanted to move. That's could have been where she wanted to move to temporarily visit, whatever. Something's going on with Fresno, particularly. I don't know. I don't remember um, the area that the river was in. But she's telling me something about Fresno, okay? Um, that may have been something. Something about Fresno is really important to this situation, okay? One, two, three. 
Whew, that's interesting. That's the strongest I've ever gotten that kind of message. The Two of Pentacles energy is in the future here. All right. Two of Pentacles is financial balance. Um, that's what she was trying to do. She said that's what she was trying to do. So her taking out the money out of the bank and, and leaving it places, that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to balance the money that she was that she had. You know, she is telling me from the last reading I did for her, she's telling me now that she was going to get a gig. I'm picking that up from the first time I covered this. Um, but there's a few things that are showing up here that I get, didn't get the first time I did it. So I do get this idea that she may have been, I get a commercial, like she may have been, um, what do you call it? She may have been getting a new gig to be in a commercial, some type of commercial. It could be like, you know, like, uh, like a uh, Olay commercial. I don't know. I'm just giving examples of commercials like beauty commercials, uh, beauty modeling commercials, some type of commercial like that or something along those lines. She was going to get that kind of gig, you know, and that could have been wanted a fresh start. So when I said that, too, she wanted a fresh start. She wanted a fresh start. So the Ace of Swords could have been she could have been packing to go. Um, I also get an agent. She could have been she could have been trying to go meet with an agent too, like an acting agent, um, some type of agent, someone to help her manage like a financial manager or some kind of agent, like an acting agent, commercial agent, you know, those agents that they have that manage their money and things for them. She could have been trying to go meet with someone like that. That's why the four of wands energy is there. And they may have been that but but I get this idea that husband was aware, husband was lurking, husband or his friend, something like that. Somebody was aware that she was gonna get a gig like that. And that would have been um I'm getting this idea that solidify her finances. That would have that would have solidified the amount of income that she was receiving. Because she could have been what she had going on when she was in Glee when she was little she was in the um when she was little she was in Slammy Matters um she was in the royal family a show some type of eighties like show that she was in nineties late nineties show that she was in um she's telling me that she used that money so shows from like those nineties eighties shows that she was in when she was acting in when she was little she says she used that money. She used some of that money. She used that money already, you know. So Glee, Glee, in a sense, could have resurrected her finances, in a sense. But now, but Glee is no longer. Glee ended up being no longer. So she's like, what am I going to do? So she could have been trying to contact an agent. Somebody could have hooked up in her to meet with one. It just depends on what's going on. She, could, she was on the verge of getting a commercial deal, some type of deal like that. And that could have been husband was aware of. She said her boy, the ex-husband was aware of that. But he may not have wanted her. I don't know if he may not have wanted her to do it. It just depends on what's going on. But if he didn't want, if he was aware of that and he didn't want her to do it, it had to move. It has to do, whatever she was getting, some type of gig that she was going to get or she was on the verge of getting, he, it's, it involved, it has something to do with her making like a move, like a move where he wouldn't see the sun. It involved her making some type of move where he would then not be okay he would then not be able to see the sun probably for like months or years in something interesting like that he may not have been able to see the sun for some time so she she's making like really secretive moves around him but he's somehow becoming aware of that so he's hooking up someone to watch those moves who is she going to go meet with why is she going to the bank why is she taking out so much money? Why is she packing? Like, is this could have been a really obvious packing that she was doing, like, with boxes. Like, why is she packing? Why is she moving? Why is she going to stand in the third place? So he's thinking that she's going to disappear with the son because of a new commercial gig that she's getting. Hmm. With the money. The instincts has the, uh, uh oh mm. Her instincts has the Eight of Cups energy. It kept calling. The Eight of Cups energy, he kept calling her. Like I said, he's a cancer. Or it could be family. Somebody kept calling. You know what I mean? Could be another fam could be a family member. Um, but it's cups, so it would be it could be his en energy. But communi communicating with the most. So when I said that she was communicating with him the most. He, she was communicating with him the most. <laughs> so, she, yes, she was communicating with family, but it's he the most because blowing up phone. He the most because he may have been blowing up her phone. You know, he was blowing up her phone. But there could have been a moment where, there could have been a moment where 
she's like why <laughs> you know what i mean there could have been this interesting moment that she could have had in her head at one point during the day why is he blowing up my phone but the why is connected to the security cameras the why lurking friend the why it also is it, the why question is also connected to the lurking friend the cuts represent a lurking friend it could be her friend his friend i would deem them to have mutual friends <laughs> you know what i mean like why 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 is he calling me why is the friend lurking whatever kind of friend whatever kind of an interaction that she had with someone like that why is someone lurking whatever it is but she if she did have if she did i was getting this idea that she didn't get a chance to check the security some type of interesting camera that she had somewhere she didn't get a chance to check the camera and that or she or there could have been a there could have been a day where she did get to check the camera and she could have saw okay there could have been a day where she did get to check some type of camera but it's like she checked it and then noticed and then she noticed or recognized someone familiar that is his friend that's their friend mutually something really interesting like that you know and she the eight of cups energy the eight of cups is like being uncomfortable in the environment so that why are they why are they calling out of nowhere why are they lurking why are they watching if she did check a camera she's checking her phone why are they calling me so much ace of swords i'm packing she's aware that she's a wet plan she's aware of some type of really interesting plan that someone does have or she's using her intuition that a friend her friend her ex-husband's friend or a friend they have mutually was hooked up to watch her moves watch hooked up to watch her moves they were hooked up to watch her moves there and she's like eight of cups why are they call why are they calling out of the blue when she this could be a situation where like she's like why are they calling out of the blue like i'm about to leave i'm about to go to the to the beach i'm about to go to the river i'm about to go wherever i'm about to go meet with this agent why are they calling out of the blue like that it's strange that's why I was getting the idea of strange from earlier. So that that was the idea of her family, or that was the that was a feeling that she had about herself, or what hap what was happening around her. Hmm. So this is like this is like uh, it's strange because okay, I'll give you a really this is like this is like literally packing to like go. I just give an example. Go to the store or something, and somebody's obligation. Someone's calling out of nowhere with some type of obligation. For her to do or for that they want to her to help them with whatever it is out of nowhere like it's like it's what it's like a random call it's like a random show up to the door it's like a random drive by somebody driving by it's really it's a random thing that could have been happening days before months before but i odd be odd behavior so when i said days and months and weeks before it's like odd behavior that somebody has hmm. the accomplishment oh sorry the accom oh, no, sorry. The accomplishment has the Ten of Wands energy. Ten of Wands kind of brings in the feeling of fire signs. You know, I know Big Sean was a fire sign. I don't know if she had any other fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sag energy would be here next to the Ace of Swords energy. But it's giving me the idea of like an agent, like um, like an agent, someone who like an agent could mean anything. Agent could be modeling, agent commercial, commercial for her. To, like I said, she was gonna get. She possibly would have gotten something to do or get a chance to be in a commercial of some kind, some type of commercial. Or like the Ten of Wands can't meet with them. The Ten of Wands with the Ace of Swords. She could have told someone like she could she, that she, she I can't meet with you today. But I get running, so she's like I can't meet with you today. She's telling she's trying to announce some type of meeting for like I, I get acting too the acting the commercial the whatever it is she turned it down but it's like that's why the Ace of Swords she could have been packing to go meet with someone but she turned it down because it's like that's why the Ten of Pentacles and Four of Wands energy is there too Eight of Cups we could call it has to do with a call that she did receive like a threat one part of it is a threat watching one part of it is a threat because someone is watching her because of the cameras and or she saw something then another element about it is <sighs> what's the other element about it turning down some type of gig turning down a gig out of nowhere because um, um i get fear turning down a gig because of fear so you turn on some type of gig with someone because of fear but I was getting the idea of running too. So she could have turned it down and then she's like, she's packing and she's running because she sees something. She saw, she sees something 
she saw okay, she saw something she heard something she checked the she checked the security camera whatever it is that she did she got a call so whatever it is that happened there it kind of diverged her away from meeting with someone that day or days prior it kind of diverged her from meeting with someone for that kind of gig but scared she said that she was scared hmm she was scared because she was noticing where I, I was getting odd behavior. She was noticing odd behavior with a partner, the partner's friend, the whoever, a neighbor possibly too. What some something was weird about it, you know? Something was weird about it. Watchful eye and whatever. Somebody hooked up to have a watchful eye. So it's like she wants to. There's an element about this, and but had it scheduled. There's an element she had something scheduled, like something really important scheduled, but it has to do with like acting, commercials, gigs, some type of gig that she was going to go on. But something was someone made her nervous, the stalking. Someone something made her nervous because of stalking or stalking that she was aware of. Hmm. Wow. Ten of Wands, like I said, could it be the energy? Um, that's just the energy of opportunity. The Ten of Wands is the energy of a, some type of difficulty that she has with accepting an opportunity from somebody. Ten of Wands could also be the energy of her friend, Big Sean, or whoever. Um, she could have been talking to him. I don't know. She could have been trying to tell him that she wanted to, that she got a gig. She was going to get a gig. I don't know if he was trying to hook her up with something. That could be another part of it as well, too. But someone was scary or, you know, she ended up running, for, running literally, like running, like trying to get away from some type of obligation like that for whatever reason. Hmm. Strange, strange. The sign of Gemini energy is here in the spiritual self. So Gemini, I like that I see like a, a major arcana because it kind of it kind of brings in the element of a person um or like a, a, a particular person that she could have been interacting with swords could be that somebody a gemini energy could have been trying to uh, I, I offer her opportunity a gemini could have been offering her some type of opportunity with gemini that she was tied to if it's not that then it's like the lovers in the spiritual self is just a partnership that she was in with someone that she was living with working with agent manager some type of really interesting opportunity like that you know, some type of connection. That's why the lovers is right next to the four of wands, you know. Hmm. But I get this feeling that her ex may have been intertwined with an opportunity. Like she she's this, given this I this feeling that the ex was intertwined with, with an opportunity that she was going to get. Oh, I understand. I see what's going on here. Uh, early on in the reading with her packing and going somewhere that's why I said she got some type of opportunity that involved some part of it involved her traveling like a distance distance away but the distance implies that she'd be far away from the, her ex-husband something interesting like that so what's happening is that she was going to accept it but it's like she's aware that watching she's aware that he's watching or someone that he's tied to is watching her so her traveling a distance away meant that stock uh, her traveling a distance away to accept the opportunity to go do fittings to go to do those kind of things this could have been happening days before to do that kind of stuff it's like it was creating a feeling of paranoid it was creating like a paranoid like feeling within her all the time so it's like she's like it's like a lose lose situation with accepting an opportunity from someone and then thinking that she went far away I get without the sun she was thinking if she went far away without the sun oh I see what's going on here because she was aware of the child support and what she was somebody was aware of the child support situation that she had going on the secrecy with her son and trying to take her son away and move far away with the son so what's happening didn't want to leave so that's what I'm trying to get to she didn't want to leave the son with someone this she turned down an opportunity that involved her like she for some she can't have the son with her so it's like she the idea is that she's aware of what's the, okay the child support dispute problem in the custody battle is like if she leaves her son 
if she leaves her son with someone, they're going to get to, okay, they're going to get to the son and take him somewhere. Um, um, they're going to, they're going to get to the son and take the son somewhere where she may not have, where they probably would, or she, if she left and came back, where they probably wouldn't have let her, okay, but they probably would not have allowed her to go and have an interaction with the son when she came back. Something really interesting like that. So she's like, I need to figure out a way where I could just take my son with me. You know, she's like, I need to take my son with me. But I keep, it's, it's giving me this idea of paranoid again. So something, she was paranoid. Something was going on with her. Um, something was going on with her in her mind in terms of like, she could have, she ended up having like extreme paranoia because of custody, because of child support. So she, because of that, she's turning down opportunities just so that she could keep her son in her, what do you call it? She's trying to keep her son in the environment with her as long as she possibly can. It's giving me that really interesting feeling. Hmm. That's interesting. What do you call this? Uh, the sun energy is here. This is a sign of Leo. So fire sign energy could be Leo. You have Leo energy here. You got Gemini. You got Cancer. Bringing in the energy of her ex-husband. So you have Leo here. You have Cancer. You can't. You, Leo, Cancer, maybe Aries for her um uh somebody that she was dealing with fire sign energy that she was dealing with you know gemini you have leo energy here with the eight of cups the leo energy could be um is get friend the she could have had a leo that was a friend there's a leo element here that's like a friend of some kind either uh, like a mutual friend between her and her ex or like a what do you call it? a mutual friend between her and her ex or her friend alone or the ex-husband's friend there's a Leo. That's why the Leo is up here in her headspace with the Eight of Cups energy. Somebody could have been making her nervous. It just depends on what's going on. They could have been the ones that were lurking or watching, whatever it is. But it's, if it's not only the sign of Leo, then it's just... If it's not only the sign of Leo, it's just the Strength card is with the Eight of Cups energy. You know? But I get this idea of being out of options too. So she could have got she could have faced a situation where she could have ran out of some she could have ran out of options. She ran out of some type of option to do something. Who to leave the child with, who to what's another situation? Who to leave the child with, um, whether to accept an opportunity or not. Whether I also get something about keys too. Whether to who who to leave keys with. She could have been trying to leave keys with someone. Something going on here could have had something to do with keys too. Leaving keys with someone um, or finding, looking for keys. Something could have been going on with her keys. Like like the Eight of Cups energy with the Strength card is something that could, was interesting going on with her keys. She could have lost them. I don't know. She could have lost them or somebody could have taken them. Something was odd that's going on with her keys. Like car keys. Or like keys to the house, you know, something strange like that. Hmm. The Ten of Swords energy is in a changing position. So Ten of Swords energy is like set up. Ten of Swords is like set up energy that she's experiencing. So if something's happening with her keys, someone could have taken. But I get this idea of like a like a housekeeper or like um what do you call those people? Like a housekeeper. Someone could have taken her keys. Something's going on with it, like somebody, somebody's housekeeper. I don't know if she necessarily had one, or like somebody had it. Somebody, there's a housekeeper like energy. One of these elements could be a housekeeper that she's interacting with, or a babysitter, something like that, or babysitter, some uh, some type of helper that she try to call to watch her son or do those kind of things with. You know, I get connected to boyfriend, connected to partner, connected. She could have had a new boyfriend. She could have had a new boyfriend here that may, may have been acting strange. She could have had a new partner that was acting strange. She could have went somewhere. Um, I get third person when I said that too. I don't know if this is like third person like in the literal sense. <laughs> third person like three people. Three people. Like she could have went somewhere with someone like another guy or something. I get this idea of three. So it's giving me this idea of three but now it's bringing me back to keys too. So if she's going, if she's deciding to travel with someone, wasn't alone. She's like, I'm getting this idea. She wasn't alone. 
That's why I kept getting this feeling of a friend all the time. So the Eight of Cups and tagged along. She did have a friend that tagged along. Like somebody may not have said that, but there's like a friend like energy that did tag along here, you know, but this is giving me this idea that some like someone was hooked up as well, too. So if there's an element of a friend that is, oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, I see what's going on. Now I'm understanding her packing and getting a call. She's packing um, to go to the what do you call it to go to the river to go swim to do those kind of things. So what's happening here? is that a friend some type of friend that she has that weren't invited she's telling me that they they weren't invited but they're like calling her out of nowhere they're like can i come yeah now i'm understanding it they're like you know can i come can i tag along that's why i kept getting this idea of them being hooked up that's why i said mutual friend some type of friend that she has herself or it's the ex-husband's friend that they or they have mutually that's a friend like that's why it's a leo or it's like a gemini somebody like that so they're like you know she's that's why i said i was getting that idea for being paranoid all the time and then there's this um there's this element of a friend calling and she's saying that you know they're not invited so she's like you know they could tag along and do that kind of stuff with her but now it's giving me this idea of smoker so that friend could have been a, a smoker that friend could have been trying to get her to smoke smoke i was getting a lot of in the last reading that i did too for her already the first one that I did so there could have been a friend that she had that may have been tagging along with her they could have been a smoker something really interesting like that you know or they could have been smoking someone could have been high just depends on what's going on but it's giving me this idea of like a friend that didn't want to come there's a friend that she's tied to that she didn't want to come with her that's why I said not wanting to leave her child, okay, not wanting to leave the child, like, um, what do you call it? Not wanting to leave the child with a housekeeper or like a babysitter or someone inside the house. So she, she herself could have called a friend or a friend called at a really, a, she herself could have called a friend or a friend could have called at a, in a really timely manner because they were hooked up by someone to watch her all that time but she may not she didn't check the camera to see that that was the person that was watching her all that time but it's strange so when i said that too she's like it's strange it's strange to have a friend pop up out of nowhere and be like oh can i come you know what i mean or she could have called them and said you know you know can you come or whatever but she didn't know lurking she didn't know that, that was the person that was lurking but she's asking them there there's this tag along I also get, I almost said issue. There's this tag along situation, but she said it's a tag along issue. It's a tag along issue. That's why the Eight of Cups and the Strength card is there. It's a tag along issue. Ten of Swords that didn't want them to come, but something's heavy about not wanting a particular person to be tagged along here. You know, but camera didn't show. So something's gone. A, a, a camera didn't show something. Like a camera didn't show. Um, I, who else was involved? A camera didn't show who else was involved. So I know they were talking about footage that they got of her leaving the van. This, that, and the third. Some someone else was a part of her trip. Like a third. That's why I said third person. There's a third person involved with her trip. A friend. That she doesn't know is a stalker. Like they're like a stalker. Like they're they're a stalker. She didn't know that that though. But they're like tagging along, you know. But it's like you know not. There's this interesting feeling of not leaving her son with someone too. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's really interesting. So she. I don't know if she. If there was footage of her leaving. If there's footage of her leaving with her son alone, someone could have drove separately. <gasps> Excuse me. Someone drove separately to where she was with her son. If that's the case. Or they and or they were already there. Something like that. I keep getting hooked up. They were already there. They're hooked up to be there. So this is like a friend calling out of nowhere. You know, I'll come meet you. You know, I'll be on the dock already. We can just, you know, I keep getting smoke. We could just smoke. We could smoke for a little bit. We could have some weed. We can do whatever. We could smoke. Whatever we can do. She she was like, that's all that paranoia. She, was, she wasn't using her intuition that they were hooked up by the ex. Hooked up by somebody. She wasn't using their, her intuition that they were. That's why the tennis was in the changing position. She's like, her idea was to just go and be with her son by herself. But a friend met them there. She had a friend that met her and her son there. 
they met them there. So that's why if there is security footage with just her and her son, somebody was already there or they said that they were going to meet her there at that spot. Mm, wow. But they wanted to smoke so they could have gotten on the boat and smoke. The Queen of Swords energy is in the... <sighs> the Queen of Swords energy is in the resolution here. So Queen of Swords could be Gemini female. That's why I said one of these elements is like a friend. It could be a Gemini, Libra... Uh, what's the other air sign? Aquarian female. There's an air sign female is here. It's an air sign female that's there. Hmm. And the resolution going towards the two of pentacles energy there. You know? Queen of Swords. Smoker. Queen of Swords is a smoker. So the Queen of Swords could either be, uh, either be, it could either be her ex, um, what do you call it? It could be her ex's new partner embodying Queen of Swords energy. Or the Queen of Swords, also a friend. The Queen of Swords is also like a friend. I don't know how many people she had around her. The Queen of Swords, you have a you have fire sign. You have Leo here. You have Gemini here. It could be Gemini, male or female. Leo could be male or female. Cancer is her ex-husband. But Queen, hooked up. Queen of Swords was hooked up. So they're like a friend. You know, they're like a friend that they that don't belong. They're a friend that she's saying they don't belong somewhere. So they could have they could have been already on the dock with a male. She said they could have already been in that area with a male and the male energy could be a fire sign male, Leo, Aries, Sag energy. They, somebody was already there. It could be Gemini, female, whatever kind of air sign other or that doesn't have to be their sign. It could just be somebody embodying Queen of Swords energy. She herself could have been embodying Queen of Swords energy, but they're also an external female that was I get bothering. They're an external female that may have been bothering her. Bothering her in terms of call, bothering her in terms of tagging along. However, they were bothering her. Whatever it was, they were bothering her there. You know, I also get drinking too. So all these cups energies here, they, they, um, I get, I get something like, I didn't want my son to see. Like she was like, I didn't want my son to see. I didn't want my son to see. So the son was sleeping. You know, the sun fell asleep somehow, but that's when something happened. When the sun fell asleep, that's when something happened, you know? But I'm looking at the Queen of Swords energy. I also get this idea of acting crazy. So there could have been another guy there too. But this idea of acting crazy, like she could have been, somebody was acting crazy that tagged along with her, that was smoking. The acting crazy is like, um, what do you call it? The acting crazy is like, is like smoking or being high and losing control. So I don't know if that's something that, I don't know if that's something that she experienced from because of smoking or somebody else that was tagging along, that was acting like that. You know, someone else that was tagging along was acting like that. But accident. So I'm looking at the Queen of Swords energy. Something is an accident here. It's an accident. So if she has somebody else on the boat, somebody could have, somebody was, may have been acting, I also get pushed. Someone could have been acting crazy on purpose. Someone was acting, or they were intoxicated. I also get drinking. Someone that she was with, they, I don't know if she was acting like that with somebody. So she, she could have waited till the sun fell asleep or something someone's sleeping but it's like it's like she was with someone or like two two other people doing something that they're a part of they're, they're drinking they were smoking but it's like i get this idea of push too like are being pushed but i also get on purpose so this idea of being pushed on purpose because somebody is like under the influence here and they're like, this is like you're on a boat with some you're on a boat with people and you're smoking you're drinking whatever it is but it's like they're at, somebody's acting crazy because of their because they're under the influence. So they sort of knocked her by accident. I don't know. Somebody could have knocked her by accident. Somebody could have been waving and flaying their hands by accident. I don't know if the ex-husband was there necessarily, or he said he was gonna go come meet them. Whatever the situation, he could have said they were that he was gonna come meet them with the Queen of Swords. And something like that could have been made. That's why she's like, I don't want to leave my son with someone. If, they, if her ex was calling her out of nowhere to come meet her, he could have been trying to link up with them too. But this is like, they were watching her all along. They were watching her all along for like days or weeks. 
and to make trying to see where she was going on to so they probably wouldn't even have known that she was going to go there but it's because they were watching her all that time that they knew she was going to go to the river she planned to go to the river with her son but would have came back so when i said that too she said i would have came back like i would have come back Whatever she was, I would have come back. The, uh, she's saying, I would have come back. It has to do with the opportunity, something that, she, a gig that she was going to get, that someone was paranoid she was going to disappear with the son and not come back. But she was like, I was going to come back. Or someone was just ner Someone may have been just nervous about her and her paranoid feelings that she may have been voicing to someone. And she could have been telling someone, I was going to come back. She said, like, I was going to come back. You know, if someone didn't join me, I, she's like, if someone did ten of swords, queen of swords, two of pentacles, if someone didn't join me, I would have come back. But someone acting crazy around her caused her a trip and fall. It's like a trip and fall kind of situation. But this is almost like somebody pushed her too, because they're acting crazy and they're smoking and they're drinking on the deck. I don't know somewhere where she was there, but it was like done on purpose. She was like, I, uh, there's multiple situations into her saying she would have come back. She would have come back from that. She would have come back from, she's telling her ex-husband, you know, I'm, 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 I got a gig. I'm going to, I'm going to go take care of this, that, and the third. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave. I'm not just going to disappear from you. But she, I get this feeling she may have been tired of the custody battles and the disputes or he was and setting, setting up something. When I say he was, something was going on with setting up something with him. And some other female and a male here. He could have been there. It could have been, um, what do you call it? There's an external fem smoker. There's an external female there that was smoking. Like something that she was smoking, it caused her to be high. She herself could have been smoking because of what she was offered. Whatever, drinking, smoking. Someone lost control, pushed her. Accident, trip, fall, situation going on there. Someone may not have been trying to help her either. Like someone wasn't trying to help Queen of Swords or whoever. Uh, um, that wasn't what they. Their idea was to. This is like this is like something is psychological about somebody's stalking problem that they have here. So something psychological that's wrong with it is that you the person okay for the stalker the person that you are stalking is like you is stalking to the point where you want to get them in a situation where they won't come back you want to get them you want to stalk them to the point where they won't come back from their destination. And that's what's happening between, I keep in an ex, that's what's happening between her ex or someone that the ex is tied to, something strange like that. This person could be the ex's friend that is that was set up to go, um, that, that they know each other or something. They do or they don't, whatever it is. But it's like a push, a trip, a fall. But they're like set up to act crazy. So that's how, that's how stalking, that's how bad stalking is getting. That's how bad stalking can get. To the point where this is like being stalked to the point where someone isn't returning from a regular trip because somebody's stalking them that crazily and they're not returning. She didn't return. Hmm. Wow, it's crazy. All right, let's look for deeper clarification. It's crazy. I knew somebody, I mean, I knew somebody uh, had to be there. Like another, her at the ex or somebody tied to the ex at uh, the male. Uh, I had a whole team. When I said that too, there's like a whole team of them that like come, that like premeditated that situation. So they could have been people that were already they're already there. Like they were like already there, you know. And they were like somebody was acting crazy. I don't know something strange about it. Like they they could have. I also get volunteer too. I get this idea of like a volunteer, some type of volunteer too. Somebody volunteered a stalker. Somebody, uh, like, this is like a stalker hooking up a stalker. Like, it's that bad. But it's like, they're all the way, they're like all the way, I, it's ringing in my ear child support and custody. That's why this is happening because it's like somebody made someone, um, like a volunteer, some type of volunteer, stalking volunteer or some, a volunteer that worked at the place. Something like, uh, some type of volunteer. Somebody could have volunteered to be on the, whatever, volunteer to be on the boat with her volunteer i also get fixed volunteer to fix something somebody could have asked somebody could have volunteered to fix something for her on the boat something like that 
or volunteer to stalk her, volunteer to watch her, volunteer to do something. So, or I don't know, she volunteered to do something. She herself could have volunteered to do something. And then somebody could have been acting crazy. Something strange like that. You know? Like the last reading that I did, I was getting the I, I was getting the the smoking idea was coming was coming back a lot. So I don't know. Um but trying to get somebody to do that with I get this feeling of trying to like somebody either try to get her to do that with okay, somebody either try to get her to do that with them or vice versa. So that could be where the volunteer idea is coming from. That's how somebody even got in the same environment as her. Somebody could have been, hey, you want to smoke, you want to drink, you want to do... Somebody in the parameters... In the beginning, I was getting camping. And that's what I was getting from the last... That's what I was getting from the last reading, that first one that I did for her. Somebody was, somebody is like, you know, you want to smoke? They were, they're like at a distance away or they're like in the area. They're like, you know, I, you know, you want to smoke? You want to do this, that, and the third? So that could be how they made their way over to her, vice versa, on the camping ground or where wherever her boat was whatever it is but they they could have they I get this if they did the way they found her fabricated the way they found her may have been fab fabricated the way they found her may have been fabricated you know but I keep getting this idea of being pushed so I get this feeling that she may have been pushed into the water without a life jacket on but this is like this is because somebody so this is because somebody invited her vice versa to smoke and drink and they're acting crazy and and there's and there's a trip and fall or like that's intertwined with being pushed that's like and somebody's doing it on purpose like they're like they're doing it on purpose they're like flailing their arms or something and acting crazy and then a boop but it's like they did it somebody did it on purpose almost hmm Wow, but it's like the way they found her, I keep getting fabricated, the way they found her was really, it's something that's really fabricated about it too, you know, they may be doing the autopsy, they could do an autopsy on her and those kind of things to find, um, there may be some, you know, they may find alcohol in her system, they may find some type of drug in her system, they may find, they may find those things, they may say that that was in her system. But it was, it's like giving me this idea that it was offered to her perpetrator. It was offered to her by like a perpetrator that was like around the parameters of the river where her boat was. All right, let's look for an outcome here. Let's see. All right, so as simple as that, this is like. You know, you you plan. This is like as simple as as simple as that. This is like, you know, she's aware of child support situations going on with her husband. Her husband wants the child custody and those kind of things. She somebody's watching her to the point where they're aware that she's taking out all her money, so that the so that the ex husband wouldn't get any of it. What if she could have multiple accounts? He was after. He was just somebody was just after them, her money that she was making throughout her whole career from a child to this point. Somebody just aware of that money, wanted to give the money to a new partner and those kind of things. So what other plan that somebody had in their mind was to watch her to see where she was going during the day. And they're like, they're like, in their mind, they're like, oh my God, she's going to leave with the child. I'm not going to see my son, you know, so somebody's going to hook up someone to lure her to a spot or they're going to somehow volunteer to bring themselves over there to pretend that something needed to be fixed. Oh, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. This is like, if that's why I kept getting the idea of smoke. Someone literally could have been doing that. There's also this idea of somebody could have been trying to tell her that something was smoky on her thing. That could be another re that could be another way to look at it. Someone could have been trying to tell her that something was smoking on her boat. So in turn, they're like they're way they're trying to tell her they're on the campground on a distance. They're like you know your thing is smoking. You know, your thing is something's going on in the back of your boat, whatever. They could have made up some type of story to get themselves over to her and then do what they did. And then offer her something or just act crazy and push her or do whatever they did. Like, a, I keep getting, like, a, it's like a push, like a trip and fall kind of push situation with somebody inviting themselves over. This is somebody inviting themselves over. Some two or one person inviting themselves over, a man and a woman, or this or a female. I keep getting acting crazy, a female that was acting crazy. 
there was a female that sometimes however she was at however there was an external female that was acting crazy like this is like they were acting crazy like they invite they try to say that's why i kept getting volunteer they try to say that something was wrong or someone was smoking with her bowl or that someone was smoking on it whatever or they literally were doing they could have literally also been doing that and acting crazy and then did what they whatever it is that they did you know, someone may not get caught like they may not they need to someone may not get caught. They may need to investigate truth. They may need to investigate certain people that may have been around in that area, you know, that were hooked up by someone to do that or act, whatever it is that they did. That was strange, you know, <sighs> it's really crazy. Like they they need somebody. This does need to be caught. This, um, I'm looking at the Queen of Swords. I get erratic. Like, this is like someone could have been acting erratically. Like, someone could have been acting erratically. Some, a female. I don't know if she was, or this, an external female that, that they, I keep getting volunteer. An external female that they're like a volunteer. Like, a volunteer, I'll give you another idea of a volunteer. A volunteer is like someone that worked, um, like they're like the staff. Another idea of a volunteer is like if they're like the staff of the river, that river park, whatever. Though they're volunteering themselves to come over and check her or spend time with her, whatever it is, but they're hooked up by somebody. They're hooked up by a friend that she and her ex-husband have. The ex-husband hooked them up to, to do something strange. Like they, they were just hooked up to do something that didn't really need to be looked at on her boat or this, and they just came over to her, whatever it is that they did. But they were acting crazy, so it's like they, whatever it was, but they're like a volunteer of some kind, like a legitimate volunteer or like a volunteer, whatever it is, some type of volunteer. I keep getting that idea. Like a volunteer would be someone that works there. So they're like, something's wrong with your boat or can I come over and we know, can we hang out? Whatever it is, it's interesting. So then they, they're acting crazy on purpose and they, whatever they did, that they did there, the trip, fall, pusher, the high priestess energy is here. It shouldn't have let on or shouldn't have let the high priestess is here in the outcome. She shouldn't have let somebody join her. She shouldn't let somebody come on the boat, help, fake help, whatever it is. She shouldn't have let somebody, I get persistent too. Somebody was really persistent with her, like a, a guy that she was dealing with. You know, so her, the idea of the ex-husband hooking up someone is like, they could have called like their friend, but their friend could have been like a volunteer, volunteering to join her to watch the sun while she do something. But that person acting stupid, that person ended up acting really stupid, caused her to fall or they pushed her or something that they did. But the high priestess is here because she's like, I shouldn't have let, um, but she was watching the high priestess. Is, she's saying that she was watching. Someone was, the, the, whoever, the female was watching. She was watching. She was watching her the whole time. Mm. But she, the, the watching is like trying to devise a plan. How to, how to invite the, 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 the female or the male, whichever, the male energy here. She said she is a, is a female that is coming through really strongly. She was watching, could be the ex-husband, new partner. The she was watching is someone that's tied to them. The she was watching is like a volunteer. The ex, the ex husband partner could have volunteered to join her, or that she did it. That could have be her energy, or someone that she's tied to. And it could have been her volunteering, someone that worked there. But they know each other. I get this feeling that whoever that is, those those females, they do know each other. They know each other. Hmm. Or they had some type of really interesting interaction with each other during the day, you know? But I also get a question, how to push, like, how to push, how to make something look like an accident, how to how to push, how to do something. That's some that's somebody's thought process here that she ended up interacting with. Hmm. How to do, how to, how to plot, how to, whatever, some type of premeditation that somebody, some female... That was hooked up here had in their mind hmm it's crazy let me do another outcome on the high priestess here. okay the high priestess has the higher font um is it this will be like a taurus female energy 
a Taurus female energy that's there. So Two of Pentacles is there as the only Earth sign. That's her energy. I think her child it was uh, like a, her child is like a Page of Pentacles energy too. But there's a, a Taurus female energy that's here now. So you got Taurus female using her intuition about a Taurus female, Queen of Swords female. Then you have Leo. You got Gemini, Cancer. Hmm. You know, higher font. Taurus female energy, but I get work somebody that worked there. Like this, the Taurus female could be someone that worked there, or someone that she knows intimately. Someone that worked there. She's using. She was using intuition about someone that worked there. So someone that worked there, that's a female or whoever that they need to be questioned. It's giving me like heavy female energy, like a female work. Somebody that worked there that was a fem that they're a female. They don't have to be a Taurus, but somebody could be embodying hierophant energy. Hierophant energy is like, you know, someone that you go to for spiritual advice. That could have been something that she was trying to seek. Or is given or another element about it is someone it's also could also be someone that worked there. Or the Queen of Swords could what somebody could be someone that worked I would kept getting volunteer. Like however you want to look at volunteer, someone that just worked there. Knows something or they saw something, heard something. I keep getting smoke. Like someone saw her smoking. Someone could have seen, someone saw her smoking, saw something smoking, saw someone smoking. It has to do with smoke, okay? And pushing, and I also get lying, and lying, and lying, fabrications. Someone already volunteers, or somebody, somebody stalking, whatever it was, somebody was already there, people that work there, they, they may know something, I, I know about an inter, they know about an interaction, that she had with someone that did that caused her to end up in the water they know about that interaction okay all right so that's Naya Rivera's case if you have questions comments or concerns um you know where to find me okay be blessed take care my spirit go with peace bye